veterans of my generation, I would call this the greatest generation because we have a legacy. Uh, we were thrown into camp right after the World War II began. We were labeled as Japanese, we were labeled as Japanese saboteurs or, or something like that. Uh, Anti-U.S. That's how we were labeled. Our draft qualification was, uh, our, uh, we were classified as 4C, meaning enemy alien. We were not allowed to join the army to fight for our country. And then the military intelligence began recruiting uh, us. I was one of the first ones to join, to volunteer for the military intelligence. And later on, they opened up, they decided to uh, form the 442 to fight in Europe. And there's uh, 10,000 volunteers from Hawaii. Only about 1,500 volunteered from the camps. But they fought in, in, uh, <coughs> in Europe and, uh, many of them gave their, their lives to prove that they are loyal Americans. Uh, we fought in the Pacific. It was a classified, uh, ours was classified in, in the Pacific. Classified because the Japanese never thought that the Nisei or the Japanese American would, would be used in the Pacific. We were all li uh, housed in, in concentration camps. So they openly uh, used their language uh, without too much consideration for security because they felt that there are no linguists around. And that's how we were able to capture a lot of intelligence through the open use of the Japanese language. And that's why it was classified. So ours was sort of kept under the rug for a long time. Uh, and uh, uh, we, we wanted to bring it out in the open now. I mean, after 17 years, uh, this, this job is great. There's so many memorable experiences, good and bad. Uh, the bad part would be, you know, the Pentagon. Uh, I was there as one of the early units there in the Pentagon. Um, 911? Yes, on 911. Um, and I certainly was there with my partner. My partner happens to be one of my best friends. So uh, I remember going down down the highway when the highway was isolated and no one was on the road except a caravan of fire department vehicles headed towards the Pentagon. When you can see the public walking on the highway with their briefcase and their suits and all that, and no vehicles were allowed on the highway except for us and me looking over to, to one of my best friends and you know just us trying to get in touch with our family because we knew that this is you know this is not to be taken lightly and we really didn't know what to expect what was going to happen so that that's one of my memorable memorable um, moments the other one would be my first year in the department again coming into the department um, what year was that that was in 1991 uh, it was like high school, you know, it's like an eye-opener. Hey, you're here now, you are different, you got to know that, and, and it's just something you have to, to accept and something you have to recognize, but then that shouldn't keep you from being who you are and who you want to be. And that, my first year was very challenging, you know, it's a lot of adjustment. But also, during my first year, I had my first rescue in a fire. I was able to find a lady who was overcome by smoke. And Where was gone. this? This was in Vienna, where I was assigned. And I was able to pull her out, pull her out, and one of the greatest feelings I've had is after I pulled her out and realized that we were able to revive her and, you know, she was able to live several years after that. The feeling that I got from my peers, meaning mostly Americans, and the acceptance they gave me that... You mean non a Very significant point you just made because he's younger, but he started with the department early. He kind of set the pace. Uh, and kind of filled in the gaps because when I joined, um, you know, it, it seemed like it was an easier transition. It could have been because of, um, you know, his actions, but that just that that should be a lesson in new Asian Americans coming into this country is that, you know, we pay 
we, we kind of set the tone. We have to keep up and strive for more. And so that uh, the future Asian American communities develops better and better with the country and the community. So that's a very good point you just made. Do you have any advice for the uh, Fairfax County Asian American History Project for us? What do you think? Is there anything you think we should look at? Or do you have any um, any addition to the uh, discussion that we've had today? Well, I guess uh, not, I, we, we really don't have any, or, or for myself, I think just the interviews alone, I think uh, each uh, individual brings a lot of uh, information and <laughs> I think even though some of our experiences might be similar, uh, there is a lot of aspects that we do differently uh, or how we contribute to the community and uh, how we also uh, uh, in our relationships with the community are different. So I think uh, each individual will bring uh, a little bit of different uh, things to uh, the, uh, the heritage. And Jay? Um, I'd like for, uh, for that project is um, probably just to see how we work and how we review the department. It doesn't, not just for just us in the fire department, just uh, also in the police and also uh, the individual uh, small business out there and how, how they contribute in Fairfax because it's there's a lot of us uh, in here in Fairfax County uh, here I'm a doctor. Well, I guess what, five years? Yeah, five years. I'm not so sure what, about five years. Ah. He, he was a gynecologist. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, this is very kind of you. Where do you practice, Dr. Yang? No, I'm retired no more. Uh, where did you used to practice? I was in PC. I worked for federal government. Uh, oh, really? Which one? Actually, it's, uh, it was called PC Jam. I see. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Terry and I both work for the federal government too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, IRS and State Department. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, how long have you lived in Fairfax, Dr. Yang? Well, I can say, I guess 14 years, 15 years, somewhere. Uh, do you still live in Fairfax? Right. Uh, where? Uh, Vienna. Vienna. Vienna, Virginia. And you've been helping the Korean American community right. and the yeah, community. I'm also a member of this church. Yeah. So. 